doesn't matter to me that this is a literature passage, just like a science one. I'm going to read it, get as much as I can, just absorbing it naturally, and then we'll worry about whatever else matters based on the answer choices. Uh, so this is from the story. During a pedestrian trip last summer through one or two of the river counties of New York, I found myself, as the day declined, somewhat embarrassed about the road I was pursuing. The land undulated very remarkably, and my path for the last hour had wound about and about so confusedly in its effort to keep in the valleys that I no longer knew in what direction lay the sweet village of B, where I had determined to stop for the night. Okay, so the person's confused. That's what I'm getting. Uh, good word to know, undulate. Undulate means to be like kind of wavy. So it's going up and down, going all over the place. It's winding. Um, so yeah, he's confused. I don't know. Uh, a, the narrator remembers a trip he took and admits to getting lost. Yeah. He's talking about a trip. Check. Is he lost? Yeah. I, I, he didn't, I no longer knew what direction was the village. I don't know. That seems pretty good. Obviously, we've got to read everything else, but that seems obviously right. B, the narrator recalls fond memories of a journey that he took through some beautiful river counties. Well, let's use the connotation here. I mean, fond memories is very positive. Beautiful river counties. Uh, well, I don't know. Does it say they're even beautiful? It sees in the river counties. Um, I don't even think he says it's beautiful, right? So even that, I, I don't have. But is this a fond memory? I don't know. He's embarrassed. He's confused. Where's the word embarrassed? Right there. I don't know. Those don't seem good, right? So this seems negative, right? It, even the word confused is negative. So I just think connotation-wise... This just seems wrong. Um, or it's positive. We want a negative. Um, C, the narrator describes what he saw during a long trip through a, frequent, through a frequently visited location. Well, time, right? We're bringing in the idea of time or, or even another word that or another type of, of choice that bothers me in uh, reading passages is, is quantity words, right? Frequently is a quantity word. It's also a time word. Uh, so is this something he's done a lot? Um, he was there last summer. He was lose, He was lost. Uh, yeah, nope. I don't know that this is something that happens often. So yeah, it doesn't seem, doesn't seem good. Uh, is it even a long trip? I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of words here that are starting to be adjectives that I just, I need to support in some way. So a lot of strong words. D, the narrator explains the difficulties he encountered on the trip and how he overcame them. Uh, well, he, we could stretch the word difficulties and be like, okay, he's lost. The, the land is undulating. The paths are hard to find. So maybe those are difficulties. Did he overcome them, though? Did he get there? Uh, well, it says he no longer knew in what direction the village was, but it doesn't say he somehow got there, right? We don't know. We'd have to read the rest of the story. So maybe in the rest of the story, he does. I, I don't know, but I'm not supposed to know, right? If they wanted me to know, they would have given me that part. So I don't care what the rest of the story says. This information is not in this part of the story. So yeah, I knew A was going to be right, but um, the other choices we can also prove wrong. And I think that that's really important is even when the question seems obvious and you're like con confident you've got an answer, just take the time to prove the other things wrong. It, it won't take you as long as it's taking me in these videos because I'm explaining every little thought I have. But the more you can kind of be like, it's wrong because of this in your brain, the more confident you'll be when the questions get harder and the less likely you're going to fall in a trap because sometimes it feels like the answer is obvious, but then it's not. There's something else going on and you miss a question that you should have gotten right. So just get in the habit of proving answers wrong and you will have fewer wrong answers.